hello everyone welcome to learning station so today i will demonstrate how we can use uh, uh, spring batch with spring boot 3 and the latest version of the spring batch 5 and uh, java 17 so before going to the uh, before going to the how we can write the code or how we can uh, the uh, write the code using this new tech new uh, versions of the spring boot let me explain the basic about the spring batch like how it is uh, and uh, about the new dependencies okay so actually the what is the new what's new in the spring batch 5 actually spring batch 5 actually having the following things like jdk 17 and the major dependencies upgrade batch infrastructure configurations testing configurations job parameters those things and uh, dependency wise is having the spring framework 6 spring integrations spring data 3 AMP, AMQP3, Kafka3 with that also they are migrating to the Jakarta E9 and the Hibernate as you know like previously uh, if you are using the Hibernate kind of thing then previously they are using the Java X and now it's a uh, like Jakarta now like uh, just briefly explaining about like how the spring batch actually works so the architecture wise is having the job launcher job step job repository and the step can be multiple and the step having three or three step actually like uh, the reader processor writer so actually what actually they are doing like uh, means first of all like what actually step is doing actually step is just uh, managing the dependencies between the jobs and also actually it's modularize the complex step in logic into the something that is uh, testable and in isolations means we can easily test those things those things can be step can be done actually the step is actually responsible for that after also like uh, maybe uh, they have also concept the partitioning partitioning means suppose if you are having some kind of data uh, lots of data and we need to process those things in a uh, in a multi-threaded env so that kind of things i'll come in later phase like how we can do, do those things so those can be done in this in this spring batch actually but in the right reader writer and the reader processor and writer which is comes under the step so those actually things like um, reader is basically do, uh, read the data uh, reading data can be done from the multiple places like uh, uh, read can be done from uh, any any xml file or any note text file or any maybe csv etc or maybe from the database also we can face some data and that can also be done so those kind of things we can done in inside of the reader if it's a processor then processor is responsible to doing some kind of activities like business kind of things whatever the business is is maybe we can write those things inside of the processor and writer is responsible to write those data whatever environment it is whenever we need to you need to write like maybe you need to write those data into the database maybe you need to update something into the database or maybe you need to write something into the file so those kind of things um, can be done in the writer so and uh, like uh, for creating these applications or spring boot applications we can use like initializer spring initializer as uh, they are provide this all those things like from here what we need to do we need to just like search this one spring io start dot spring dot io here you can choose like gradle or whatever the dependency tool you need to use for in my case i use the gradle and language java and uh, like spring boot version 3.1.0 and uh, you need to provide this kind of metadata and then like packaging what kind of packaging it is and then the java versions and then in the here also we need to provide some kind of dependencies like uh, spring boot dev tools spring OA for if we're having some kind of rest um, endpoint and from the rest endpoint we need to invoke the particular job or something then we need to use this spring web lombok if we are we need to avoid some kind of uh, the, like getter setup then we need to use this lombok spring batch this is the dependency that we do and the data jpa for kind of uh, 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 like uh, high one means uh, 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 database perspective that can be used once you click on the generate then it will create the project for you next what we need to do we need to just uh, go to the file and then from here we need to import uh, this uh, file uh, if here is the gradle then we need to choose this existing gradle project if it is a maven then we need to choose, choose this one 
after clicking this one it will asking for from where I means your project it is so you need to like uh, choose the project over here then it will import those project actually into your workspace and then it will be look something like this one so after this like uh, let's uh, go through the configurations so what is the configurations of the batch this is the main things actually so configurations as in the picture in the uh, architecture of the um, uh, job actually job can have the single job and job having the step and step having the reader writer reader processor and the writer so if we once we are creating the steps then we need to what do we need to do we need to create one step builder before this uh, new version of the spring batch it was having the steam builder step builder factory but now it's a step builder so here we need to pass the step and the job repository and then what we need to do we need to provide the chunk like in in uh, what fashion the data will be read data will be read uh, in uh, like uh, uh, how many data we need to process at a time that can be one or two one or three maybe whatever data we need to provide here that will be that uh, in that fashion the data will be uh, pulled from the any any things and that can be processed then we need to provide the reader then processor and then the writer and uh, I will go one by one for the reader and uh, the logic for this reader processor and the writer so once this is done then we need to put this thing call this step uh, in the job builder uh, and uh, for creating the job builder also you need to use this new job builder uh, factor and here we need to pass this job and the job repository previously before this version it was having job builder factory and in that way we can create the step this is the kind of uh, configuration that can be complex by based on the situation or based on the logic but for this demo purpose just i have created uh, just to be simple just created this one so that is it it will be easy to understand actually now if we go to the reader so reader here actually is having some uh, string array and we are just picking the data based on the index like 0 1 2 3 so here it will print the data what actually processor will do processor will actually process the data but here as you know like i don't have anything over so just what i try to do just do the uppercase of the whatever the string it is coming just will do the uppercase and writer here actually it will just write that means whatever it will pull the data and it will just uh, logging this particular data nothing else just for the simplicity i have created this one in my next video uh, actually i just uh, forgot to explain one thing uh, the step can be created in two ways one is the chunk another one is the tax slate so in this uh, video i will explain in this tutorial i'm explaining how we can uh, create this thing using the chunk in my next video i'll create uh, how we can create using the those using tax slate uh, for this please uh, like feel free to subscribe to my channel and also please click on the notify button so that in future you will also uh, like uh, get any notification while I'll uploading new uh, new videos and uh, like uh, uh, in the properties file I have uh, put uh, the databases properties like the URL driver in my case I have used the mysql uh, so these are the properties file and this we need to mention because in this batch actually uh, in, in means internally they are um, need some kind of tables for storing the like data uh, for uh, batch state they need to monitor something so that's why these uh, tables are needed so that can be done using this in this way yeah, or maybe you can also use your own means any any database like h2 in memory database or maybe other other databases also so now like if we start uh, this one let's start this batch actually if we start this version then it what it will do uh, as in the like configuration I put it like it will uh, uh, read data to so maybe from the reader it will pick two data per step actually like Java spring then is this two then this two so already started and batch is run now you can check like this two this two and then this two right so it will picking data in two now suppose if we modify from two to three then it it should pick data actually three instead of two like this one like uh, this one you can see like uh, now you can see like java spring and the spring boot java spring so it now pick like three uh, three data so in that way like we can uh, it will pick the data uh, so based on this configuration it will pick data now like uh, 
the badge is running fine we can see like uh, and like if we if we see like here so as i uh, as i over here mention something over here now like uh, as you can see over here so for this batch actually and they these are the like internally the spring batch use actually so they have monitor internally we don't need to do anything with this one and uh, like uh, i also write one test cases for this one so this is the pt about these test cases so this are the annotation spring boost batch test enable auto configuration we need to provide the test property source and the, in the configuration we need to provide this batch config and here we need to use this one job launcher test util so that it will launch the job and then what we are checking just checking the exit status of this comp means uh, the job it's completed or whatever it is so if we let me run this one so once i run this one it should run and it in the log also you can see like uh, the batch is running yeah it is running now and uh, here it should yeah it's uh, ran and it successfully ran and here you can also it will pin the data now like uh, also i can check the code coverages using this uh, one so if you are not able to understand like how this uh, coverages is coming over here so what do you need to do you need to like uh, i will put one video that i i uh, did earlier like from there i have check like how we can check the code coverages so for checking this one you need, we need to like uh, uh, add one plugin from here and based on that it will come over here and then from the STS or Eclipse uh, whatever the ID it is from there we can easily check uh, the code coverages so code coverage also it is run successfully now I can see you can see actually like now you can see like all the codes is coverage 100% right all the codes are coverage 100% so in that way like we can easily like write uh, 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 like a spring boot batch easily and so that we can process large data large volume data in a very simple manner uh, without any complexities in my next video i'll explain it using the same process or maybe i will I'll explain how we can read data in from csv and write data into csv using the taxlet uh, thank you very much or if you feel like if you if you like my videos please uh, don't forget to subscribe it thank you very much